Hello, I'm Wells President Mark Schrader. How do new missions get started? Largely, it's lay people like you who see an opportunity, a place where the gospel needs to be preached. Often, our synod can then connect to the effort, offering resources and expertise. Recent efforts in Nevada offer a clear picture of how this can work. Reno, Nevada likes to call itself the biggest little city in the world. But it's also famous for something else, having one of the lowest number of churches per person of any city in America. Members at Shepherd of the Mountains have an ambitious plan to make a difference here. We need to go and find the people who need Jesus, but, but they maybe don't know it yet, or they do know it and they haven't taken a step to, to find where he is. About 10 years ago, members of Shepherd of the Mountain set an ambitious plan of adding five new churches in the next 20 years here in the Reno area. First was a daughter congregation called The Springs, about 15 miles to the north. Through canvassing, flyers, and other efforts, the daughter congregation began to grow. I'm Steve and this is my son Silas and Nathaniel. We're just out uh, inviting people today. We've got an Easter for Kids event at, uh, over at the, at the park here and wanted to invite you. We had received a little flyer on our doorstep about a new church starting up in the Spanish Springs area and we thought, well, that would be great. And it, that flyer particularly ad advertised Easter for Kids. Maybe you think Easter's about this guy. <laughs> People who um, may not know their need for the Savior, but they know that their children need something, and so we, we put on an event like Easter for Kids, and we meet people that way who, who come to us. See, that's why we're doing this. I want to share this wonderful message with you. So these are three crosses, and one of the crosses... Easter for Kids was one of several outreach efforts that engaged the community and led people to church on Sunday. When we walked in, it was just immediate. Uh, the music was amazing that week. There was maybe 15 people there, would you say? And it, was ju it just felt immediately like home. It wasn't long before this core group began to grow and the Springs became a self-supporting congregation. I feel connected with everyone and I'm just so blessed to be here. This is the home that I've longed for, my church family. And I've searched for a very long time in my life. So the connection with the people here in our beliefs and uh, is what I believe in. Now that the Springs is established, a second daughter congregation is preparing for services in a local gym in the North Valley area of Reno. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it's exciting when you actually see things come together. Um, they did with the Springs, and I know fully well they will with North Valley's. So I, I, I know that'll happen out there. All Wells members have participated in this growing ministry through the resources and expertise provided by our Synod, made possible by your mission gifts. It's exciting times, uh, both for Wells and for us, and uh, we're just grateful that Wells' commitment to the gospel and in spreading that. Together, hand in hand with our brothers and sisters across the Synod, uh, we can accomplish things that, humanly speaking, would be impossible. But this is how God does his impossible work, through human beings, through Christians working together. And God spoke all these words, I am the Lord your God. Like any earthly endeavor, there have been setbacks in Reno. A lead pastor who suffered a stroke, a major fire, a facility that flooded on Christmas morning. Nevertheless, you just set your nose to the, to the grindstone and you just, you just keep going and you keep doing and, and it's been amazing to see the Lord's blessings through all of that. Sometimes there were many roadblocks and we just kept saying, but it's in God's time, it's in God's time and, and um, here we are. 
we've been blessed. Reno might seem like a unique situation, but in many ways, it's not. In every corner of our country, there are people who need to hear the gospel. How we reach them will vary, but the Great Commission is for all of us. One other way to share the gospel is through a multi-site ministry. Consider attending the National Multi-Site Conference in November 2018 to learn more about how your congregation can participate. To register, visit wells.net.